So I thank you for coming here. It, it has really enriched my life, and I'll never forget what you taught me. Um, what I love the most is that you gave me the key to relax and to be able to really have fun on my own, even with those dancers that I felt I could never ever dance with. I practiced this at the Milonga yesterday evening, and I found that I could really really relax my body, regardless of what the other person is doing. And for me, that is magic. I, even for this alone, I would totally recommend to everyone. And uh, it's the best thing that I did uh, regarding the freedom of my body because it's, uh, this is what I look for and this is what I want. Um, I, I cannot think of anything better th uh, uh, of, of any moment in my life when I feel better in my body doing movement things. And, Actually, I was re reading your book, the uh, 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 Tango Awareness book that uh, Jen translated, and I was thinking, wow, so cool, huh? And I came to the Milonga and I said, okay, and how do I do it? And now I know. And uh, uh, if you want to learn uh, to dance tango, and very quick and uh, very fun, you can choose Tango Discovery. Uh, it was mind-blowing, really. I was more uh, relaxed and uh, I felt more uh, connected with other uh, persons, not in a dance way, but in a human way. The best thing was to feel alive, to feel real al alive and enjoy movement. And also very cheerful, very enjoyable, very, a lot of fun. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, it's an easy way to learn tango and easy way to enjoy tango, first of all. Because when you say Argentinian tango, you are thinking about something very spectacular, very difficult to do. And discovery tango is something easy. You can do it even if you don't know how to dance. It's about communication and do something nice together. Would you recommend this stuff? Ah, <laughs> of course. Come and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally honest. So let's start, now that we are sit down, let's start like this. Um, uh, something very simple, like, one I would like to know, you know, to have some feedback is that what do you, what would uh, really make you happy to learn? You know? So, you know, if you were going to walk out of this class, with, with something that will make you really happy, what would that be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have. What is the right attitude between a woman and the, uh, and the, uh, and the man? What is the right yeah. what, what is She says, what is the right attitude between the women and the men? In tango, okay. <laughs> All right, in tango. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and what do you mean by attitude? Attitude. Attitude. And she said also until the light turns off, right? Did I hear correctly? Yeah? All right, I like that. So, all the communications. Uh, yeah, 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 we, yeah, actually we will see that, especially all at the beginning. Um, yeah, and it has to do with everything, actually, within tango and without tango, you know? Because 
Actually, it's uh, interesting or it's a funny concept, this thing of saying, yeah, now I'm going to dance or I'm going to do this uh, and I, I'm going to practice this, but this is not real life, you know, this is, well, the, the game is life doesn't have a switch off. So actually, whatever you are doing in a milonga and all these techniques, these tango techniques you are using, whatever you like it or not, it is the relationship you have with the person in front of you. And as most of us, you have experience, it produces a lot of different responses from different people. <laughs> Some of them they're happy and fine, and some of them they don't like it a bit. <coughs> so, yeah, we are, we are definitely going to talk, uh, do a lot of exercising about that. And the type of communication I'm going to be talking about, and we are going to be exercising about, it's a type of way of dancing tango that is much more universal than the traditional version. So that means that the point is that you will be able to dance with a lot more different people uh, than you. <coughs> Rather than if you, if you just learn one style, you know? What we learn here is everything, exactly everything. And then you, then you pick the style that you want to represent yourself or you want to communicate, etc. Et anyway, a, any other request? Yeah. Um, I'm really interested in the, in the decomposition of the movements, starting from, you know, from the connection, the mental connection with the music, then the connection between the partners. Yeah. The, Muscles in your stomach, the okay. how do you call it? Hips. Hips. Yeah. Legs and um, what I don't see very much the pivot. You know how how do you decompose a, a movement uh -huh. uh, regarding to the pivot? You know the this this part of the. Okay. Two. All right. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So let's me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> and especially the pivot, right? Um, yeah, that's a very technical issue. Um, yeah. yeah. Somebody else wants something? Yeah. You almost answered, but I just want to stress this out exactly. When I'm in a Milonga, I, I'm still in the beginning of my tempo. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I, uh, and I don't know, sometimes I'm really stressed and nervous how to tune in with different partners. Because <laughs> often, <laughs> often, times I find with some, I communicate, it's instant connection, so we flow, it's, everything is going well. But with some, yeah, it's yeah. like, it doesn't work. And then <laughs> it's, yeah. it's this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't understand yeah. 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 So how to communicate, let's say, with better with more people. <coughs> uh, and that's, yeah, and that's the point of the whole game because <coughs> even if you're, even if, if someone is a horrible dancer, see, <coughs> only by statistics, that person will get with a hundred people, and I guarantee you that with two, they're going to have a great time anyway. But for, for us, for dancers, actually the game is to improve that percentage a lot more. So that means you have to develop a type of language, do you understand? <laughs> and that, when I say it, it sounds funny, but it's, uh, it's real. It's, it's not about developing a, a, a tango way of leading and following, but it's about developing a human way of leading and following. <coughs> yeah. 
So, uh, and that's the, that's the whole Tango Discovery trick. Let me give you a very simple example that, uh, obvious example that anybody can understand, see? I know that some of you, for example, you, you have learned that you lead with your chest, right? Or with your center, or with your axis, and all these things, right? And, and you take this posture. You get it? So, <clears throat> and if you want to turn, you do this. Right? Well, okay. if you go to, to the street and you stand up on the middle of the street and there's people coming at you and you do this, see, nobody knows what the fuck do you want. <coughs> do you understand? So, therefore, that abstraction that you just made up, it, it works only with the people you have submitted into that uh, abstract game, get it? but it does not lead a human being. So, when you do this, and you have in front of a beginner that doesn't know your famous code, they don't fucking move. They don't go anywhere. See, they don't understand what the heck you want. Let me exaggerate the example. If it's on the street, you just do this, everybody knows what you want. You know, just this, one. You open in a door for someone. So we want to work a lot in what's the difference <coughs> between postures and gestures. You get it? So, that's it. Any, any other... Uh, Request or any, something? No? Mm. So if I only do these three things, everybody here is going to be super happy. Eh? Yeah. What I want to have at the end of this course yes. is to be kind of uh, fully aware of my body and of the possibilities that I have. Ce aș vrea la finalul acestui seminar este să fiu pe deplin conștientă de corpul meu și de posibilitățile lui. Ok. All right. Well, if I could do that, it would be a lot more expensive, this course, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of technical questions. That can, let me ask you this, for example. Because something brought you into dancing. I don't know what it was. But my, my question would be, when you look at the best dancer you ever watch, the best dancer you ever seen, the one you like so much, what do you see? Flows. Flows. Natural flow, passion. Three passions on the right. Huh? Pre precision, your life, having fun, yeah, enjoy, huh? perfection, magic, provocation, risk. So, <clears throat> those are, these are all great things, actually, all and every one of them, you know, uh, perfection, you know, enjoyment, uh, flowing. Yeah, a lot of work. If you want to work, we'll give you work. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the game is uh, all of these different traits that you see and you like, they only get organized in your priority list when you start to define what the heck are you dancing for. Do you understand? So, let's define that. This dance, we can define it in general, general terms, in I would say two categories. You dance for money, or a competition, or you just dance for the hell of it. Just because you feel like it. You get it? 
and those two, fuck, they're really different from one of it and each other. Do you understand? In one, it's a job. You have to be perfect. You have to impress someone else so they clap. If not, you don't get paid. Do you understand? So basically, the outside response to you is much more important than your internal uh, condition. When you dance for money, when you dance for competition, doesn't matter what the fuck to anyone, what do you feel, if you had a good time or not, that's it. It's an office work. That's it. So, if you are into that, you get it? You have to have all these postures. You have to dress a certain way. You have to be on schedule. You have to be flexible. You have to sell a very stereotypical thing that most of the people want to see. So, you have to comply with a very particular stereotype of what the dance is about. Yeah. On the other side of this description, we leave the free man. <laughs> Which I don't give a fuck who's looking at me. You get it? And I dance for fun. Because that's the only thing you get. Nobody's paying you. You are paying to get inside the milonga. And even though people act as if they care about what you're doing, nobody gives a fuck. That's it. So, there's a priority list on the left, and there's a priority list on the right. You get it? On the right, the first thing you have to take into account is fun. If you're not having fun, you're not getting your money's worth. That's because I'm not giving you your money back. <laughs> you get it? So, in this class, you are going to see exercises, and most of the exercises is that you, so you loosen up. And you, and you start to use the dance as for what it is. The dance is a fucking game. And in games, there are no mistakes. There are no problems. Why? Because you don't care. You get it? There are not these defined technical stuff. If you, for example, if you see a kid playing on the sandbox, right, with a little tool, you don't go to the kid and says yes, but you know the most perfect way would be that it, <laughs> if he goes, yeah, if he goes in a 45 angle, <laughs> and then you really scoop it there. You get it? You laugh. But most of you are doing that with the dance. You get it? And that's a very sure way to cut the fun and put the fun below on the priority list. You understand? <coughs> it's not that it's wrong, the 45 degrees bullshit. You understand? But <coughs> it pertains to another sphere of, of the dance. <coughs> When I talk to uh, professional dancers, you know, that is their living, then we can talk about all these silly subjects. And I'll tell you, <clears throat> I don't even talk with them about those subjects. Because uh, once you are at a really higher level of any art, you know that technicalities are just bullshit. And they don't mean anything. Because ultimately, what people perceive out of you is your emotional content. Uh, what, is, uh, what is going uh, on with you? That's what they feel. 
They don't see your axis, they don't see your balance, they don't see nothing. The best proof is that in the most important old tango shows that they were in Broadway and anybody else, you could see 60-year-old people with a belly like this and doing all the wrong shit that you can imagine. Right? But what other people saw was the person, the character itself. <coughs> see? Even if the guy fell to the floor, see? No one is looking, wow, is that a correct axis? Or is that a correct pivot? You know? That axis, pivot, technicality, the center, balance, is just some dancers' own nightmares that they create. But most of the planet doesn't care about all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So those are today's news. <laughs> yeah? Okay. So we're going to start to do a very simple exercise, uh, very typical, that um, what we want is this. You do a lot of things already that are perfect. You are doing a lot of things that you are a master at it. You understand? One of them is balance. You get it? So before you came here, you came, we came walking, right? You took the stairs, you do a whole different thing. But now you're just passing through here. You decide that you are a dancer, and then you start to lose balance. So <laughs> thank God I don't believe your fantasy, you know? You get it? So if you lose balance, I don't know what the heck you are doing, but I'm sure it's fucking wrong. Because before you didn't have any problem. You get it? So what we are going to do here, for some of you, the, the ones that have practiced more tango, you are going to have to reshift uh, a lot of stuff. For the ones that don't have much tango, this is a piece of cake for you. You know? Yeah, it will be very natural. So, the most natural thing we do in this planet is walking. It's the most efficient activity we do, and we are fucking professionals, all of us. If we need to, and it's the less, uh, it requires the less amount of energy uh, as most activities. If it were to be necessary, you could maybe even walk for two days straight, if you have to, if you have to. So that means it's very efficient and you need very little energy to sustain it. So that type of work is where we start, and when we have it, we develop that into dancing. So we even improve it more. So, for this exercise, <clears throat> this is what we do. We get in front of a partner and we walk. That's it. See? If you need to concentrate to do this, well, I'm sorry for you, you know. But you're making problems where there are none. You know? So that's not my business. I already explained it. That's it, man. Walking. You don't even have to look at her. You, gotta, you don't have to fake that you're connected. <laughs> See? This faking that we are connected, <laughs> See? <clears throat> you only get paid on stages to do that. You understand? But in social life, <laughs> see, this doesn't mean we're connected. It means we are faking for the people that are looking outside. Yes. And she says, no. Yeah, explain why. <laughs> okay, first of all, uh, when you walk on, walk on the street, you are alone. You are two. So the balance is the equilibrium. It's about yeah, another thing. 
Second, the connection. Are you a fake person? Are you a I think if you are a fake person, yes, you will be entangled. Do you think that if you are a fake person, you will be falsified? But in tango, if you are not a person and you like to watch the person, like to watch the other person, it's just connection. It's not nothing fake. Okay. So maybe just not to exaggerate, like I don't know, like I don't know. But there is no fake. So keep looking at your partners forever. That's it. That's it. You will miss the point completely. <laughs> but it's your life, it's your money, and it's your time. I don't say I use this all the time, but I yeah. don't, this word fake. It's not, it's not, I don't, I don't approve. It's not only fake, it looks psycho. <laughs> <laughs> For normal people, it looks even pathetic. To look at two people walking like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> it looks uncomfortable to the other person, and it looks uncomfortable to me. See, I don't want, no, I need someone looking at my chest like this. You get it? I don't like it. It feels weird, intrusive on the other's part, etc., etc., etc. But of course, this is my experience. <laughs> Do you understand? And there are other peoples that we have different experiences. Like we just, we were talking about what, when you go to a milonga, right? And I'm free, I'm like this. And I get someone looking at me like this, you know? Well, personally, I don't give a damn, you know? It's your problem, it's your life, it's your choices. But the game is on this class, Everybody do the exercise as I say it. <laughs> you get it? So you will get to experiment what is this, you know, just to be free. Then after class, you make your own conclusions. You keep the positive changes. You keep what you like. You get what you don't like. You just let it go. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. So, let's walk back and forth, relax, very normal. Here we go. Yeah, you can look at each other. I like when you look at each other. <laughs> there you are. All right, so that's a too easy exercise, right? <clears throat> Any problems with it? No. Not at all? No? I mean, the exercise is perfect, no problem. You, you, found, you haven't found any mistake? Yeah. Yeah. You step on one. Yeah. She was asked if uh, she will do a woman's role or a man's role. <laughs> well, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Are you equipped? Or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, if you can, you know, do the 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 followers role, the the, the women's role. If you want, you can. Yeah, I think we have some more women than men, uh, uh, don't we? Yeah. Double. Double. So that's good. That's nature talking to us. So. Uh, yeah, 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 we will change. These exercises are not really leading, you know what I mean? Are, are just very simple exercises. So yeah, you can find a, a female partner and do them, no problem. The thing is like this. <clears throat> Haven't you noticed that you stop and she keeps going? For example? No? 
You don't have this problem? Okay, so let's speed it up until you have that problem. So you're going to walk and then you're going to change directions and see what happens, okay? Go. <laughs> All right. So, so, do we have that problem now in the room? Yeah, I'm bumping. Yeah. See, that's the best thing. If you don't know, if you don't know what to teach, you create a problem that you can fix. So, so yeah, the game is like this. You are walking, then you stop, and well, there she goes because you want to change direction. So, what is the universal gesture that means there's something frying? Uh, <clears throat> what is the, uh, I don't know what it is, maybe this one, yeah. What is the universal gesture that, that means we are going to change the direction? Yeah, it's down. You get it? Can I show with you? So if you are walking, I don't know why, but you do this, see, and she stops. And then come. There you go. I don't know why she does that, you know? But she's doing it. You get it? There you go. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You are with a friend on the street walking. You do this. And don't ask me why, why they stop. So again, it's not in your chest. It's not in your posture. It's not in your... These were making it very obvious. Then in the dance, you will... For example, if you see me walking on the street at this height, what you were doing before at this height, and you stop like this, well, whoops, everybody thought, you know, you were going to keep going. So, if you want to, let's say, even hide it within the dance, it's just you walk and you relax down. Whoa. So your partner can start to understand what do you want. And for women, also, when you perceive that there's a change of directions, for example, if I have someone and I'm doing this, well, don't, don't you also stop like this, you know? Right? Go down, you know? Like a human. Let's pretend we are all human. You get it? Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah? That is, by the way, is the problem that all these fixed postures have. They tend to fix your level that's why almost, you know, that's why not a lot of people understand what the heck you want. Let's say only the ones that have been on that uh, language, but the rest, of one, the rest of them that are more human, they don't get what you want. You get it? So, the exercise is walk, bend, and see what happens. Test, uh, test your responses, okay? Change partners, have fun. Go. That's it. So, so uh, <clears throat> a certain percentage did improve or not? I need feedback. Yeah? Everybody perceive the change? Yeah? I only hear two or three, yeah. So, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel that as a follower, I'm going a little, oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> you are surprised, okay, yeah. The surprise is because we're going to be adding, so it, it's more and more comfortable every time. The surprise is also because I was, when I was showing it, I was doing all of the sudden. You get it? And uh, <clears throat> The best lead in the planet is to tell your partner ahead of time what we are going to do. Right? So all these changes go, for example, is that I'm offering her space on the back 100%. Then I'm telling 10, 20, maybe we're going to change the direction and here we go. You get it? Yeah. And then, even though I'm going here, I'm going to tell you, hey, babe, here it comes. Get ready. Whoa, there we go. You get it? 
Thanks. Yeah. See that you didn't have any doubt, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's very obvious. So for us, the job is we are always telling her, "Hey, babe, he's coming. Get ready." Warm, and then the change. Yeah. Or if you are in the mood to get her nervous, <laughs> ha, you know, like, <laughs> all right. So let's adapt this little trick and see how much you can improve. When I say change partners, you better change partners. Eh? I have a sniper hiding right there. It's looking at you. So everybody has to change at the same time. So change and go. So that's it, right? Yeah, did it improve? Yes. Yeah. Everybody? I'm gonna ask to ask everything again for everybody. So all together, did it improve? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. If it doesn't improve, you know, let me know because we can fix it. All right. I, I just need feedback from you to not to know where you are because I can see where you are, but if you realize where you are. So, I yeah. When I don't look in a point like in his chest, I lose my my equilibrium. Like I'm doing like this, or are you looking attent? Um, I'm not paying attention very much when I my don't look at his thoughts, chest. Yes. All right. Okay, that's fair. Maybe he has a sign in his chest that says, just now we're going left, now we're going right. But yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that's what you have been using. And, and yeah, that's what you believe in. That's fine. You know? Where do you look? What about if we pretend that we are humans and we don't know how to dance? Where would you look? Yeah? yeah. For ex okay, so <laughs> let's say you are on the supermarket, right? And you're with your cart, and you're in the wrong lane. Do you, do you walk like this? <laughs> Or, or even worse, do you work like a tango dancer like this? Yeah. Do you keep looking all the time? No. Just pretend. Pretend we are all humans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, my point. What you do is that you make sure you're not going to bump into something. In this case. You already know the room. So you know that you're not going to run into something. That's why you're going. If you knew or you would perceive there's something you're going to bump into something, believe me, whatever you like it or not, your body will do this anyway. Right? So this is a natural behavior that you already are a master. So you don't have to pretend that you're from another planet and ask yourself, where, where should I look now? Do you understand my point? Yeah. And one more time. Uh, is, for example, the thing you're saying uh, about your, the chest is fine. That's what you're using now. And it works for what it does. But... <clears throat> um, where do I look? Let, let me put it backwards to you. Why do you think when I talk to this room, see, I don't talk to everybody like this? You know what I mean? Don't you find that there's something weird if I talk to you like this? No. There you go. There you go. You just said it. Actually, you're used to. You get it? And you're used to in the particular psycho tango uh, world. You understand? But once you get out of the psycho tango world, people will say, she's fucking Nazi. You know, if you look at the people like this, you know, she has a problem. 
You get it? So that's the distinction I'm talking about. You get it? <clears throat> if you don't believe me, go outside and start to look at people's chest and see what reactions you get. And make your own conclusions. You get it? It's, it's very simple. So, where to look? Uh, let me, can I have a volunteer that I've never danced with like you? There we go. This is what we're going to do now. You look at the roof. There you go. Both of us looking at the roof. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. See how it's improving? You see this? It improves. Every round we go around. But still she's looking in a point, not like everywhere. Yeah, but not like a psycho like you, like this, you know? <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So what's, yeah, so what's your conclusion of what you just saw? This we call a reality. <laughs> She's looking at the fucking roof. <laughs> we have no embrace. <laughs> so we are not even cheating, grabbing each other. <laughs> yeah? The conclusion is that maybe what you used to use before, like looking at the chest, <laughs> is not that necessary after all. We are much more sophisticated and much more complex that you have led you, that you have been led to believe. We communicate in a lot of different forms, and how do you use your eyes? Exactly the same as you are using it right now. See why right now nobody we are looking like this? Because when you focus like this, you lose the background. So you miss all the information in the background, you understand? And that's where you start to lose balance. You get it? This over-focused vision is good to read a book, to watch a computer. But for dancing, we need, we need peripheral vision, not focused vision. You get it? So, being this cell, this is what we are going to adapt to the exercise. Can I show with you? Mm. All right. There you are. So this is what we do. <laughs> yeah, and look up. That was pretend. Yeah, and follow me. You look up and you follow me. There you are. And do the tango steps. Tango steps? Yeah, you know the turn? Um, yep. There you are. Yeah, the turn, the tango steps. Ah. Yeah. Ah, the hero. There you go. Okay, I That's see. it. That's it. This is what we do. See? At the beginning it's kind of tricky. Then we adjust, we adjust, we adjust until it starts to work for... There we go. That's it. Okay. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Sorry that it's that simple. But that's what we do. That's where the lead is, the roof. So if you come, both of you look at the roof, you walk and you turn. At the beginning it's tricky. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Go. <laughs> La habitación. <laughs> All right, just one thing to add up um, and to say, <clears throat> please don't start, you know, this, um, this type of thinking that, you know, for example, when she said looking, looking at the chest is not wrong, do you understand? Looking at our eyes is not wrong. I mean, if I go to Forever Tango and I have to dance, unfortunately, 
I will have to look my partner's fucking eyes forever and pretend that I'm in love and all this thing, you get it? So what I'm talking about is different context. See, if you dress up with a suit and you put makeup as if we're going to dance in forever tango and then you go to a milonga where you are nuts, you have a problem. So all these tools, they do refer to different context. Uh, so relax, I'm just showing you uh, other uh, options within what you have. So to add up the last thing with respect to turns, for example, is the same thing as walks, okay? We're doing turns, so this is 100% open, and then I open the opposite, 10, 20, 30, 40, see how she slows down, there you go. <laughs> So there's no hesitation whatsoever. We're giving information ahead of time. There you go. So it's not 100%. We drop and then we start again. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You get it? You never drop the lid, but you open. You start to open the opposite until you feel that it's going to change. And whoa, then you do the change. So change partners. Go. All right. So let's add up. Now you can walk. Now you can turn. How do we start to click this into a more danceable form? So we are moving. We are understanding each other. Once we are cruising, we put the embrace. But see. I'm not using the embrace to lead her, or she's not, we are, she's not using the embrace to follow. But the other language we have developed. See? When, when she starts to do the death lock right there, see? With her hand like this. Wow. You drop. There you go. We keep the mechanism working again. You get it? And softly we put the embrace again. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm Mauricio. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. We put the embrace and that's it. Win. So you'll notice that the embrace get a lot lighter and more sensitive. Whoa. See? So instead of leading with the embrace, See, we are leading with something else that is called gestures. And the embrace we use it to There we are. Oh, you get it? Yeah. So, change partners, have fun. All right. So, So if it feels good, or what is the difference? Do you notice the difference between the embrace now and what you're used to use? Anyone? I'm focused more on the music. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just talking about the embrace itself. It's very light. It's very light. All right. Yeah. Someone else? No pressure. No pressure. Yeah. I noticed uh, this is just me. Uh, I was uh, following the head movement now. Rather than uh, rather than the roof. Yeah. I was looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew when the head uh, goes second. <laughs> the second. Uh -huh. Yeah, what I suggest to you is like this, don't focus, because that's part of your conscious mind, trying to figure it out why you're, you're turning, right? Like you just said, now I think I'm following the hell, right? Well, I'll tell you, 
um, forget about what you think you're following. What I want you to release is that the instinct that you know already this stuff. And it's not just your head, <coughs> but it's the whole person and it's the environment too. If you really want to know what you're listening to, what, what you're really paying attention or what you're following or not. Because, for example, if you are dancing with me, and I'm going to leave you against the wall, I guarantee you are not going to keep walking. Do you understand? So you're not only following me, you're also, let's say, following the wall, if, if we're going to put in those terms. So it's a million times more complex than anybody can think. See, we don't follow axes. We don't follow chests. See, we, we follow a whole perspective, a whole map of what is going on. But let's go, let's go back to this thing of being lighter. So lighter, is being better or is it worse? Better. Two betters in the whole room only? Three? Four? It felt like um, when I'm used to, I'm, I'm a beginner, like, it felt like um, we were like, we were one in a way, where when I was like trying to force them, not force them, but like the leading was like, I'm leading, you're following with, with two different people. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> did, did you hear all that? So it was more like floating. There you go. So who asked for floating at the beginning of the class? You. <laughs> yeah, he. You get it? That's it. That's, that's the juice. Let me give you the opposite example. Have you noticed, for example, that when you start to practice something difficult, let's say a difficult sequence, you do it the first time, it's kind of okay, the second time, kind of okay, but then it gets worse over time? Did this ever happen to you? All the time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because our nervous system is built so it adapts the whole time. If someone grabs my arm really hard like this, my arm is, like the first three minutes you feel it, the ten minutes you feel it half, and after an hour you don't even notice that the guy is grabbing you by the hand like this. So. All the nervous systems, all the sensitivity in your hands when you are pressing like that. You know this, this weird habit that people have that says, you know, resist me with your arm? Yeah. Well, the funny thing is that if you ask for it, they will resist you. You will create pressure and you will feel less and less and less and less over time until you end up your practice like doing this, you know, because she doesn't want to go. <laughs> you get it? Because we don't feel each other anymore. You get it? That's why the first thing we want to do is get rid of all this unnecessary forceful pressure of the embrace. So it gets lighter and we feel a lot more so the perception of being separated, it just dissolves. And we start to feel as we are one. And that's the fucking famous connection everybody's looking for. <laughs> you get it? So when you use force, you feel disconnected to the other one, because energy rejects the other person like this, even if you are walking on the same path. That's what you were referring to. But if you lighten up, and we are both going in the same directions, your body starts to get like confused. Hey, maybe we're one, you know, with each other. <laughs> you know this concept? Yeah, you know, what's going on? You know, there's no pressure or nothing, and we are going all together. Wow, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I close my eyes. Yeah. yeah. It's really relaxed. It's exactly it's there's no pressure, there's no nothing, and we're just flowing, and we're just moving very, very naturally. But, yeah. but my eyes are closed. So. Uh -huh. 
it feels very nice and it's like floating foarte... meditation. You like the eyes closed, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. As I said before, this experience I'm talking about, you have already experienced it just by statistics, and that's why you like dancing. At some point in your life, you click on this thing, you get and say, "Fuck, this feels good," and that's why you're back. What I'm talking about is the specific technique of how to be able to reproduce this with anyone you choose. Uh -huh. So your dance gets more universal instead of more constricted. So yeah, you, I, I know for sure you have... The only problem with close eyes is that you are not training your eyes. That's all. But yeah, it works. It, it, again, we, within context, it's a great technique within context. You have like five bottles of wine, and you're like, yeah, baby. You get it? <laughs> no wine, nothing, all right. I'm just kidding. But yeah, within context, so you close your eyes and you do your thing. Uh,